somebody is on the Woody Show hot seat. Damn it. Oh, no. Now, and when you're on the Woody Show hot seat, it doesn't mean that I necessarily have beef with somebody here on the show. Typically, if I have beef with somebody on the show, they already know about it. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not they even know about it. not waiting yeah. for something called the Woody Show <laughs> hot seat. They know it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? In, in a way, I'm, I'm glad it's like that. Because it's it's out there, and we can all move on. Mm-hmm. Okay, but if it was you, yeah. and you're like, I'm putting somebody on the hot seat, to make I'd probably worse. be pooping blood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe that for one second. It's true. Why? It's because true. Because Ravy doesn't really care if you're, if you're mad at her. I, yeah. I care yeah. if Woody's mad at me. Jeez, thanks. I you do? I do. Really? Why? I, I don't want you to be mad at me. Well, what mm. if he's upset with you? I, that's that just as worse. bad. I know, but yeah. that would be worse. If one of yeah. us is upset with you, you're like, eh, whatever. Well, uh, didn't think about <laughs> whatever. it. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> we you get it. You, love, we, you want him sexually. We get it. <laughs> I get so. I don't. I I don't know. I just don't want to disappoint in any way. And when I do, I'm like, oh god, I'm so disappointed then in myself. I've trained her well. No, I was going to say. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> but then why do you disappoint him all the time? Well, I'm working on it. I know. I'm working. Um, I don't know. Be better. Uh, today, it's not anybody who's on my hot seat. No, Thank no, 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 no. God. Uh, there is another member of the Woody Show uh, crew who has beef with somebody else on the show, right. and they wanted to air it out because I think they've just had it. They're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Oh, that sucks. And so it's time for the Woody Show hot seat. <laughs> I mean, God forbid they approach this person personally, have a heart to heart. Alright, now any any guesses as to uh, who has the the issue? Um, who has the beef? Sea bass. Sea bass, yeah. He's yeah. bringing beef. Yeah. Agreed. Sea bass, sea bass. Greg says sea bass. Gravy. Um, based on I'm just basing it off of who has the most feelings in the room, I'll say it's probably Greg. Ooh. Greg. And he's yeah, not Greg. confrontational, yeah. direct, direct. Yes, yes, yes. True. So, but, so maybe he wants to bring it See to bass? the... I'll right. agree with Ray because that, that logic is yeah. pretty sound. Now, Bert. it doesn't have to be anybody that's in this room. It could be... Right. Oh. It could be Bort. It could be Nick Soundwave. It right. could you're, be Randy. Or, you're forgetting about everybody else. Why do you think you're so superior? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, Ty- well, Tyler, in his stinky shirts, we've brought up already twice. Even if Tyler <laughs> had beef with somebody... First of all, who... Right. Yeah. Well, second of all, even if he had beef with somebody, who cares? Who cares? Yeah, <laughs> we have beef with his urine-soaked shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll say Greg uh. and maybe Bort, because Bort's always stewing about yeah. something. Yeah. But uh, I'm well, saying Greg's a good number two, number yeah. one sea bass. Okay. Well, the person that has somebody on their hot seat today is, in fact, Greg Gore. Oh my God! Oh. How did you do that? Oh, but Greg guess sea bass. Wow. I did. Deception. Well, what am I going to guess myself? <laughs> yeah. it's it's I was trying to throw you off my game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now. Oh, no. uh, what have I done to Greg Lake? Does anybody yeah, just want to come out and admit to yeah. something that they know anybody? Greg is probably upset about? And uh. I would like to defend myself. I have confronted this issue head on like a freight train and okay. nothing okay. has been achieved. Has any, would anybody uh. like to say anything? Anybody. Anybody that goes again for Bort and for everybody else. Yep, Julianne as well. Julianne. Uh, uh, believe it or not, I am s- kind of sensitive to when I upset Greg. I know when it happens, and he treats me differently. He yeah. hasn't been treating me differently, so I'm gonna say I am free and clear. I've All been right. treating okay. you with the same love and lust as I always yes, do. Yes, exactly. Well, Ravy. Yes. You are not on the hot seat. Lucky. Love you, Greg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love you back. Now, uh, fake news. Cameron, you yes. and Greg have a special relationship lately. Yeah, always. And Come I would have said that maybe Menace was gonna put you guys on the hot seat because he was getting quite annoyed, <laughs> I guess, recently when you guys were oh, all in a car together. Oh, that was trip. that was fake. When they do their baby uh, voices. Yeah. We didn't do it then because he you, said we were singing along to music. Right. There was no music. We were uh, Instagram living. The yeah, I'm pretty time. sure it was jealousy. Yeah, it was yeah. jealousy. Okay. See, this is how it is. And they also have a kind of like their own little oh. language where they go. Oh. 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 When we're when yeah, we're yeah, when we're singing, I mean, when I've, we're I've, singing, I've which we weren't it. doing in the car. Okay, Again, maybe it's a love. But I mean, quarrel. I won't deny it. We get it. Yeah. You're jealous. We get it. <laughs> you wish you could sing we're too. We get it. You want it to be a threesome. We get it. <laughs> All right, now menace. We get it. It's purely sexual. <laughs> you think Cameron has anything to be worried about? No, no. Yeah, well, Cameron, They're, you're no? not on the hot. Oh, <laughs> Like the first time. Oh yeah, sure. It is. It has been Cameron a lot. Well, that's true. 
All right, I'm just gonna let everybody who's not in the room off the hook. Okay. You oh. guys are not on the hot seat. Okay. Wow! Whoa! Greg has okay. beef with Woody. <laughs> possibly. He could. Very possibly. He could. No. Beefy. Oh, right. very possibly. Menace and Seabass. Which one of you do you think Greg has a beef with? Uh, probably me, maybe. I know <laughs> I've upset him. Oh, daily. We all do. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know if there's anything that would really, really stick out. Yeah, I feel like Menace has been on pretty good behavior recently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I mean, I s upset him every other day. Yeah, pretty like much. you said, who doesn't? But, I don't know. I guess Seabass for something that yeah, he said. I guess. I mean, Seabass, do you, can you think of anything that maybe why <sighs> Greg would be... Because he has, like he's, like we've I'll all said, he holds these grudges. Like, yeah. like I don't I, talk to his... But this grudge has been confronted. And I've seen no action. I've only seen the problem get worse. Uh, uh. That's, that's, that's too many. I, I don't know. What could it be? All right. Well, I think you do. <laughs> on the Woody Show hot seat today. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody who has upset Greg Gorey over and over again with the same issue constantly is Seabass. Oh! Oh! Sebastian. Oh, nice. Although you said, oh, Thank why you. would you put Woody on the hot seat? For all I know, it could be Woody. But how am I on the hot seat? It could be Woody, because I just know this is your behavior. Oh, it is, oh, you know how, like, it is not me. Are you sure? I, 1,000%. Okay, well, then it's got to be Seabass. Every single day, I get to work, and my effing stapler has been moved. It's on top of the phone. <laughs> it's sitting on top of the computer. It's sitting on top of my paper tray. It's sitting on top of my chair. And it's like, enough! <laughs> You know when little kid, a little boy has a crush on a girl, what does he do? He pulls her hair. He yeah, like he makes her. fun of her, pokes her. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, it's because you like her. That's the negative. I'm convinced that Seabass has a crush on me at this oh, point. Yeah, absolutely. He's so <laughs> damn obsessed with me in every way. Yep. He comments about I am, I am a chubby every chaser. word yeah, I yeah. say. Oh. You're a what? A chubby chaser. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. I'm glad you're admitting it. It's like, oh my God, just stop being passive aggressive with my stupid stapler and just say, damn it, Greg, I'm obsessed with you. I Let want you. Your day. Yeah, I want right. You. Like, we get it every day. And how many times have I said, damn it, Seabass? So, what have I done in retail? I have to redo the same thing. I get here way before he does. So, I have to move some of his crap around because I don't even know what else to do. It's childish <laughs> and it's stupid. No. But I get to work. I'm like, great. I have to move his mouse and his hand sanitizer. For, for people wondering why this is such a big deal to Greg, because Greg has total OCD. Right. Like, yeah. Things on his desk have to be at 90 degree angles. Exactly. He Mem has things in precise places. Like and he knows exactly. I mean, and we almost to like the centimeter where something is supposed oh, to be. Oh, I know if you moved my pen from left to right. Yeah. And it drives me insane. And we had this issue about 10 years ago when somebody would take my desk blotter and make it crooked. <laughs> I'm like, why? Where's the joy in doing that? Yeah, Where's that the was? joy? And why? <laughs> One Zeta. Like, I, I think this oh, is the joy. It's absolute. Yeah. I know, and that's why I'm bringing it to the table because I get it. It's funny. I'm upset and I get angry about it. I get that. Mm -hmm. But holy crap, let's end it for do, Christ's sake. Do we do have we you're, a, you're a five year old boy with a mad crush uh, on potentially. me. Potentially. No, of course yeah. it's you. See, Okay, hold on. Okay. Who the hell else would do Let's this? Let's do some detective work here. This is oh, so God. stupid. Do you pass to end? Dude, you Just can't admit, admit it. That it's your, I know. Come on, doing. man up. No, pff, man up. Look, I don't think it's me. <laughs> I think maybe one time I might have. I don't. I don't think, think it's me. No, because look, like maybe because he his desk is next to mine, so maybe I grabbed it one time and used it and didn't put it back exactly right. That's quite possible. Quite possible. Mm -hmm. No, because I, when I confronted you about this, I said, stop moving my stapler every day. I know it amuses you. And you said, I don't have any need for a stapler. I don't hey, use very, it. Very rarely. That's well, what I'm saying. Randy, come on in here. So every, Randy, Randy spends every a lot of time. day. Yeah. Give me a break. No, but is it? That's what I'm asking. Is it every day? Every. Are you sure? No, I'm not mm. sure. Yes, I'm sure. I, you can be right. hyperbolic every about day. things. Yeah. No. It's yes, you can. Every day. Randy, have I not come to you and said, stop it, Randy? All right, now, Randy, let me ask you a question. You spend yeah. a lot of time yeah. in that office with uh, with Seabass. Have you ever? Yes. Have I ever what? Seen, seen you move a stapler? Have you ever stapler. seen him tampering yeah. Much less with put it on his stapler. chair or something? Have you ever seen, as much as he would like to tamper with Greg's area, have you ever I, seen him tamper with his office yeah. space? Truthfully, no. But yeah. then again, but okay, but then again, I'm looking at screens. My back's turned yeah, to you the whole right. time. I'm not looking at you. So how am I supposed to see what you're doing? Now it's to the point where I get to work and the stapler yeah. is like upside down on, like it's so 
precisely placed somewhere mm -hmm. odd. Ooh. And I know it's to just to drive me crazy. Right, right, now, right, right. let me add another and piece I of evidence. And I get it's amusing to you, yeah. but holy crap, <laughs> come up with something new. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Did, Ravy can admit to this. Yeah. A week or two, or two ago, did you not come into the office, when I think it was like me and Randy, maybe one other person in there, mm -hmm. Yes. and say, whoever's moving Greg Stapler, keep it up. Because I just heard him rail about oh, it for ten minutes. Oh, throwing her under the bus. <laughs> How did she sound? Your, oh. She found your complaining so amusing. Yeah. Ravy. And what did I say to Ravy? I said that sounds like something that someone that moves the stapler would say. You oh. bitch. Oh, wow. <laughs> you bitch. So and you just it. said, Dude, "Love you, Greg." <laughs> oh, really? Wow. So, Ravy, so, so you yeah. lied. I have moved it once. Oh, Are you serious? I put All it. Right. Because like, she finds you're complaining so amusing. the bottom gonna, of the phone. I'm going to make a statement. It's not amusing. I, it's I, gotten to the point where we've reached on, this Greg. day. Greg, I sit next to Steve Ass, and I can confirm I have never once seen him move the stapler. But are you there all the time? And when's, uh, when do you I'm, find... I'm there you, more than he is. Imagine, Greg, you this mentioned is, something. Or you said it's it's always moved when you get here first thing, but we leave about the same time every day. Yeah, it's but not, you might come back in the afternoon and do video that editing That is true. We've, been, we've yeah. been here, and you have arrived at like 12 in the afternoon some, after occasion, working out. On occasion, but not when every When I arrive day. every morning, there's a stack of uh, some new stories that Seabass has found or whatever that right. he's gone through that are sitting on the desk, and I thought that Seabass had already left by the time I left. Well, usually I have those, like, that stuff I find during the show, and so, mm. like, when you leave right around that time. And that's the reason I wanted to bring it up on the show, because, number one, now it's, I believe it's no raving. longer amusing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I absolutely did it once. Absolutely. Number two, it is legit driving me crazy because I do have crippling OCD. And number three, this is a good experiment in psychology to show that Seabass can't even go, yeah, it's me, whatever. Yeah. All right, what I about know. the clean up like, people factor? I like why, of True. all the things yeah. to lie about. are not taking the time to put a stapler in exactly. weird Exactly. All they do is vacuum. Cleaning people wouldn't yeah. move an item. Like it might be moved to the side, but it's not going to be like upside down. Right, or, on my chair or standing like upright that. on my computer like to show me, look what I but did. But whether it's Ravy or Seabass, naturally the next level for this is to go like Jim and Dwight from the office and start putting things in Jello. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. that's a good idea. That just it's take it to the next just, level. It's, it's a good not idea. amusing anymore. Like, come up with something new. Yeah. Or take, give them like a week or two off. Now, or, <laughs> uh, like, we get it. You have a crush on me. We get it. All right. Now, that is That's also probably true. true. I think yeah. he, he is so obsessed with me. Well, let me. It's mm, annoying. Let me say, I do think it's a combo effort between Seabass and Ravy. Now and, I do. I did it that one time. An okay, alliance. Well, uh, and told him to continue. Once a stapler mover, always a stapler mover. <laughs> okay. And then. Yep. Also, I believe Seabass, because this is kind of right in line with all his other little stuff that he does mm. to be cute. And to needle. Yeah. Like, be cute. Like, for example, mm. like, uh, you know, uh, office copy paper. Like, he writes on oh every my God. single right? package of paper he writes, courtesy of Seabass. Like, like, he went out yeah, and bought right. it. Like, yeah. he went out of his way. I went downstairs, lugged it back upstairs. Well, good for you. Everybody yeah. else does the same thing. Not as much as I do. We, uh, oh, dude, cool. oh, sorry. You bring a couple reams of paper? Cool. I bring the whole box right. of copy paper when I go get it. I, I don't see any boxes out there right now. Well, no, because people Ugh. go through it, which is the point. But I'm all right, courtesy of Woody on yeah. the side. So <laughs> so so everybody knows to. that you're the one who right. brought, like, we get attention seeker. Getting, yeah, attention. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, it's just credit seeking. Get, get a new, get <laughs> a new thing. Get a new... Put my stapler out of your life. Like, like an, get a new <laughs> obsession. Yeah. Get a new obsession. Maybe get a new person as your obs obsess about Ravy. For Ray, yeah. Just give him a new yeah. photo. Yeah. Doesn't, this, doesn't this go back to the point of like take any kind of annoying behavior or bullying or whatever, if you could even call this bullying? That <laughs> it bullying. goes away when you stop reacting to it. I get it, it. But or it's when the person just stops doing it. Right. I mean, I, that's why I brought it up because it's driving me effing insane, and it's such a stupid, minute thing to get upset about. Like, you don't see but Greg enough. Going, you don't see Greg going to the trunk of your car and rearranging all the bodies, do you? Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> it's like get a new. Yeah, but you, now you've raised the flag so that everyone in the show and the office now knows. Yeah, well, I think everybody's could be a little bit more hyper right. And you got yeah. what you wanted, but you still won't admit. Yeah, it's me. I'm it's like totally a, like look at your like ass park, every day. It's like when a park finally <laughs> installs security cameras. Right. And yeah. So maybe the person. Oh, that's who was, right. You should put a stapler camera. I will. This would have been. I <laughs> even <laughs> I even went so far as to ask Randy, how do you get a spy cam? Like I'm oh, so yeah. sick of it. <laughs> I already have one in the office. Get well, it. Hook it up. There's the Woody Show hot seat. I'm yeah, sweating. I'm so angry. Now, Greg, let me say, like, yeah. do you feel better now? Not at you... all. Really? No. no. It is Cameron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay.
Maybe. No, that Bro, look, he, he even giggles like a little boy. I know. They, they would have talked about that. Oh when they my were god! One night. Yeah. yeah, it's like come screaming out of the closet already. <laughs> Oh, God. It's ponderous. <laughs> wow. Ponderous. That's a good word. It ponderous. is. Comes, You're ponderous. Here and comes Seabass. Yeah. Get it! <laughs>